Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Morning Rush, the morning empowerment call for busy executives, heart centered leaders causing the change we want to see in the world. Again, heart centered, causing change. What is it we want in our lives, in our world? Welcome. We may have some new faces on this morning. We uh, do this every Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. with a particular topic. We lean in, we dig in, we do some breakout conversations and jumpstart and empower our day. And this this week, this weekend, I had the thought of wisdom, like what is wisdom? And there's the acquiring of knowledge, like we're, we're constantly like bombarded with all kinds of information, which you might call knowledge, but what's wisdom? And so I wanted to dig into that this week. And one thing I've uh, heard continuously is one of the best books of wisdom is Proverbs in the Bible. Solomon was one of the wisest men ever. And uh, when God asked him, he said, what do you want? You can have anything. <clears throat> he asked for wisdom. And he ended up being one of the richest kings of all time, too. So maybe maybe a little side effect of being being wise. So I wanted to think about wisdom this week and use some of the the quotes from the, the Bible, the Proverbs, to get us started. The beginning of wisdom is this. Get wisdom, though it costs you all you have. Get understanding. And digging in, I think we come to the morning rush a lot of times for wisdom. Like wisdom, we, we hear from a lot of wise people in this space, including ourselves, what we share. But it's it's not just necessarily knowledge. It's It's wisdom coming from, I believe, experience a lot of times having been there, done that, having some kind of understanding of how things work, we become a lot more wise. And when we hear wise people, we may become wiser as well. And so as we dig into wisdom this morning, I'm just curious where everybody is coming in and what you think about wisdom. Um, for me, I think there's an opportunity to look at how we put ourselves in in places and the song today the the believer like what do we believe in too that i think that's something that was coming forth too do we believe in the things that we're doing do we believe in ourselves do we believe in something greater than ourselves and where does belief come in inside of our our own wisdom like truly believing uh let's let's dig in here Ed Powers, what do you think? You're you're someone who I know knows Proverbs pretty well, <clears throat> thinks about belief himself. When you think about wisdom, you've, you've had a lot of wisdom, I think, over your years. Uh, what do you say about wisdom, if you wouldn't mind sharing a little bit here? Uh, thanks, David. I think you, you kind of already alluded to it. We have so much information even knowledge, when I think about wisdom, I think about how to apply that knowledge for the benefit of yourself or others. Um, yeah, that's how I that's how I think about wisdom. And I would agree with you. The book of Proverbs is uh, a great book in learning about wisdom. Yeah, I've I think heard that's a lot all I have unless you have another question. No, thanks, Dad. I think um, knowledge is like the acquiring of information wisdom is maybe more the application how do we use the stuff that we have for um good outcome or good cause and i've heard from a number of people that they started reading like proverbs actually has 31 chapters to it and they would start reading one chapter a a day for every month like every month one chapter a day and it as they started to do that things started to change in their their lives. And Lisa Mosby has her hand raised. So Lisa, would love to have your thoughts in the space. Um, you're smiling. It looks like the sun is shining. What's going on? Good morning. Yeah, I got my walk in. Woo but, um, you know, wisdom, I joke about this because I do a lot of women's lectures. And I said, if you're over the age of 50, they actually send you a badge in the mail that says you're wise. Now you have to go spread that wisdom to the youngsters amongst amongst us. You know, we um, through the church, we oftentimes have women's events where we put the older women and the younger women together because we want them to see what it can look like, uh, how we show up and the things that we've learned in our lives. The other thing for me, wisdom takes years off our education. If we can get with people who are older than us, who have lived in this world longer than us, they can shed light on things, decisions that we're about to make and help reduce our pain, reduce our struggle, reduce our education if we can just glean from them. So for me, I've always been able to seek out older people um, 
and and quantum leap my business and my life. So that's kind of where I chime in on wisdom. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah. Seek out those who have the wisdom already. Learn from them. And I wouldn't limit it. I, just a little pushback there. I wouldn't limit it to age necessarily. I have a good friend of mine who's no more than 25. And I have gained such deep wisdom from him recently. And um, so so I, I think like there's wisdom out there and it doesn't necessarily need to be predicated on age. However, oftentimes um, th those who have been through some things have a lot more acquired wisdom. Maybe, maybe not. Jackie Simmons, what do you think on the matter? I was going to quote Peter Swain. I might not get it accurately, but I loved it when he said, knowledge is knowing what's right and wisdom is knowing when sharing it doesn't serve you. So mm. it's not always in your service to be right. But to speak to what you just said, there's a quote about learning. There's a quote, quote about seeking wisdom and I wanted to share it. You are never too old to learn and you are never too young to teach. And so that's what I'll put into the space. When it comes to wisdom, you can find wisdom anywhere you look for it. It is a matter of experience and how someone has experienced life. Not about linear age. You're right, David. I love it. You are never too old to learn and you are never too young to teach. Beautiful. What was Peter Swain's quote again? Say it, say it one more time so we can get that one back in the space here. Knowledge is knowing what's right. Wisdom is knowing when sharing it doesn't serve you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes we have a need to be right, but we don't always need to necessarily be right, so to speak. Very good. All right, Jackie, what do you think the uh, breakout exercise should be today, As, given what we're we're talking about here? I was thinking about, you know, where do we, um, where do we look at and look for wisdom, maybe? But what are your thoughts? One question. Where are you willing to be seen as wise? Mm. We often look for wisdom outside of ourselves and we forget to look inside. So where are you willing to see yourself as wise? Ooh, ooh, where are you willing to see yourself as wise? Like, like in a particular area, do you mean? Or do you mean just like generally, like where, where will you allow yourself to be seen as wise? That's a good place to start. I like starting generally. It's easier for right. growth. It's not easier for the answer. It's easier to answer if you get really specific um, and this is not a group we come to for things to be easy. <laughs> that is true. That is true. All right. No easy time.